In a nutshell, what does Yumi do? In a nutshell, we are, we are an all screen, meaning mobile, tablet, PC, connected TV, you name it, all screen, video, ad, network. Uh, so we work primarily with big TV advertisers looking to replicate the type of scale that you can achieve in TV, but across these online platforms where consumers are increasingly engaging with more and more content. Um, so an all screen video network. Um, when um, people ask you what you do for a living and ask you what's the most fun part of your job, what's the most fun part of your job? Uh, the most fun part of my job personally is the research that we get to work on because there's so many there's so many questions that still need to be answered in the, on, in the digital media space in general, uh, online video space, same, uh, that just working with really credible companies to help answer some of those questions in innovative ways is a lot of fun and, and also just the dynamic nature of the business that we're all fortunate enough to work in. I mean, it's an idea driven uh, business, marketing in general, and uh, online media is just so fast paced. It's always changing. Um, every day I wake up, I feel like uh, if, I don't, if I don't study up, I'm gonna be left behind. Now, how long have you been working at Yumi? I've been at Yumi for about four and a half years, coming up on five years. A lot has changed. A lot has changed, a tremendous amount has changed. The business models, not only for you, but also for your clients, has sure. changed, you know, a lot. Mobile has been a disruptor in that. Talk a little bit about where has, over the last few years, since you've been in this space and working at Yumi, where mobile has been created this paradigm shift. What, what's happening? What, in, what impact is mobile having, specifically in your clients and their business of trying to reach consumers? and trying to go against multiple screens. Yeah, so for the, for the problems that we are solving, mobile has really become another touch point. It's become another way of reaching consumers, uh, but it's become such a tremendously valuable touch point in that it's the device that people have with them all day, every day. Consumers are clearly watching more and more video content on these devices, whether it's sitting on the couch at home watching video on a mobile device, which happens every day, or riding a bus to work, subway to work, uh, on the airplane, you name it, it's with you all day, every day. And that creates some really powerful opportunities to reach, to reach consumers through video. But not only that, more tactically speaking, the ad experience that can be delivered on video, I think is even more compelling than what you can deliver on the PC for a lot of different reasons, some of them more interesting than others. But the more interesting ones have to do uh, with the user interface and the, and, the, and the touch capabilities. But the, the ones that really make an immediate impact are just the fact that most video on these devices is, is full screen. It's the only thing that people are watching when they're watching video on the devices. Uh, whereas on a PC, you might have a bunch of different tabs open, etc. It's like when you're watching video on a mobile device, that is what you're doing. And that creates a pretty rich ad experience or ad opportunity, I'd say. Let's talk about mobile video yep. and how that is it, the impact that it has as far as an advertising unit on the mobile platforms. We hear a lot of people frustrated, that marketers frustrated because um, mobile creative has just not risen to the level of expectations. Um, banner ads are fall short on a smaller screen yeah and they're just being repurposed over from desktop talk about where you see the and and because of the consumption patterns on mobile as you mentioned is just off the charts what does that mean to a marketer as far as looking and investing the, the other problem that you, I feel quite sure you're frustrated with the eyeballs are coming over to mobile but the budgets aren't following as fast as they should yeah yeah um, so on, on the on, on that second point, on the budgets aren't following as fast as they should, we've been we've been really looking very hard at that over the past couple of years because it made so much sense to us that the budget should follow the audience, and, and obviously that hasn't always been the case. Uh, we think a huge reason for that is that in online video and just digital media on the PC in general, there's this there's this just broad ecosystem of third-party measurement that's available and marketers tend to 
uh, once they get comfortable with some form of measurement, only spend dollars where it can be measured through that form of measurement, like Nielsen OCR would be an example of that, but there's tens of examples. Uh, mobile you don't have as rich or as broad an ecosystem and that's holding back investment from coming into mobile. My point's always been if you're waiting for the measurement uh, to catch up, um, you're always going to be one step behind consumer behavior. So waiting for the measurement to be perfect is always going to put you in, in, a, in a position as a marketer where you are, you're, you're kind of behind the curve. And, and there's, there's huge opportunities uh, on the, all of these devices, mobile in particular, being ahead of the curve because if you're ahead of the curve, they're just less ad clutter. It just is.